Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a first impression, so it should be fairly quick because I just have one fragrance to talk about. Today I'm going to be testing out a Lab on Fire Liquid Night. And I've never smelled this before, but it is kind of a heavier fragrance and it is one of the items that I got from Lucky Scent and I am very much enjoying trying out all of these fragrances. There the little guy is. So I, as I've been talking about recently, I've gotten a bunch of different samples from Lucky Scent and I've been enjoying trying new things, especially because I've been finding myself caught in this gourmand, um, I guess, habit. And I wanted to try something new and also do a first impression and have a scent of the night because I've been scentless all day and I've got somewhere to go tonight. So I'm gonna try this one out. So if I don't love it, I can just scrub it off at the end of the night and I don't have to wear it all day. So the fragrance has notes of bergamot, lime, saffron, sage, lavender, hinoki wood, incense, vanilla, and musk. I like the sounds of that, depending on how prevalent the lime is and the lavender is because lavender can be kind of overwhelming. So let's try it out. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my wrist here or my elbow. So I can smell the lime right off the bat. Mm, let me let it dry down a little bit. I like, there's kind of a roundedness, softness. It's not too intense for an incense fragrance, and that tends to be the case with incense fragrances for me. They go a little bit too far, and I don't love that as much when it's like in the back of your throat, like choking type of scent, but this one, none of the notes is really distinct or in, like, in front of the others. Um, I do get the lime, I do get the incense, I get that roundedness from the vanilla, it kind of smooths things out. Saffron, sage. I can smell it a little bit. The lavender, I can't really smell as much, which I like because I'm not a super big lavender fan. Bergamot. Not really. It is a nice, interesting, um, well melded fragrance. None of the notes are really intense or in your face, which, like I said, I enjoy. Yeah, the woodiness of the Hinoki wood is enjoyable as well. The musk is not really prevalent either. It's a little underwhelming because there isn't any really prevalent note. They all kind of seem to get lost in one another. I smell the incense a little bit. Ah, darn. I don't really love it. I was hoping it'd be more of an... Um, a fragrance that's got more presence. But they all kind of blend into each other into almost nothing. Darn. And I did put quite a bit of this one on and it doesn't seem to do much. I might have to check in a little later on after I go to where I'm going tonight to see if it gets any better or if it becomes overwhelming or musky because I find that the musk kind of comes forward at the end of the day or like on the base notes of the fragrance. So right now, I don't know if I've got fatigue already from the fragrance, but it kind of smells like nothing. So the initial fragrance, the top notes, I definitely got some of the lime, saffron. I really kind of smelled a little bit of everything. But now, barely some incense, barely some wood, and barely some musk. 
I'll have to check in a little later on this evening to let you know what I think, but I'm kind of underwhelmed by it. I don't know. Also, I do want to hear your guys' thoughts. I just saw this Pomelo Fragrance Paintbrush Gel on Sephora, and I don't know what it is, but it looks interesting. There's a Joe Loves as the house, I guess, Pomelo Fragrance Paintbrush Gel. And have you guys tried this? It looks unnecessarily expensive. It's $55. And it looks like it's a citrus fragrance, just based on the picture. But I want to know if you guys have tried it, because it looks really interesting, and I don't know, maybe I should try it out. Anyway, I think I'm going to let this frag sit on the skin for a while. Slightly musky, slightly, barely, a little bit of lavender right now, but not a ton of anything. So I'll have to check back in in a little, and maybe a couple hours, and let you know what I think at that point, because so far, underwhelmed, not really a hate, not really a love, not really any feelings whatsoever, so we'll come back in a bit and give you my thoughts. Hello lovelies, I'm back to do my final check-in, and I've been wearing my fragrance for about three hours now, and initially all of the notes didn't seem to be distinct, they kind of all melded together, and I didn't seem, I wasn't very impressed by it, um, it didn't seem like it was harmonious and it just kind of all blended into nothing almost, so I wanted to give this one a little bit more time on my skin, um, especially after the dry down. Initially it was just so much coming in at once. I wasn't really impressed with it. Um, since I've had it on, I do get some whiffs of kind of greenish, sweetish, sweetish um, notes, which I like. Though when I actually smell it, it's more of just a like a musky incense type scent, and I like that. But it's not really something that I want to wear. It's definitely something more. Um, men's fragrance related and I think it's nice but I have a few other fragrances here already that are very similar but better um, and this one just kind of had too much going on and I didn't love it um, definitely the notes that I've picked up was bergamot lime and the sage is nice the lavender kind of picked up as a kind of dry, smoky kind of note, and I'm actually not too um, excited about lavender fragrances for the most part, uh, so having it in that um, capacity within this fragrance was more enjoyable than most lavender noted fragrances that I've experienced. Uh, the wood, the incense, uh, definitely um, become more prevalent at the end on the base notes. The vanilla, I feel like, is really used to round out the fragrance, which I feel like it's used a lot lately um, for just rounding out fragrances, not necessarily as a distinctive note, but to add a tad a bit of softness, and I like that. Um, I really do enjoy that roundedness that, that vanilla contributes to a fragrance, and then of course the musk, that one is definitely going to be more prevalent in the base notes. I um, I liked this okay. I don't love it, don't hate it, um, but it was definitely an interesting try. I have been fairly new to a Lab on Fire. I really like their other fragrance, um, Made in Heaven. That one I really, really enjoy, but um, I thought this one, this one was okay, and sometimes we just have those. But I would love to know what you guys are excited about for this fall and what your favorite green fragrances are. I definitely have a few in my collection and while this one was okay, I want to hear what you guys have to say about your favorite greens. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go wash off this fragrance, wash my face, and hit the sack. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Was I out of focus? 
I hope not. Face musky.